So Renegy right just sent out their new lithium iron phosphate 100 amp hour battery and we are going to rip it apart. And to be honest, I'm not a big fan of how it looks. It's very plain, but I don't really care about what it looks like with batteries. I care about what's inside. It says you cannot connect the batteries in series. That was a problem with the last version, and I guess they have not changed that. So you can only put these in parallel for a 12 volt system. But what's different than the last version is this actually has communication. And there's a label that says UP and link, and I have no idea, maybe upload and linking to other batteries. So it says that we need to activate the battery with this little switch by connecting it to a communication port because when they ship these batteries, they are in shelf mode. And to activate the battery, you need to plug this switch into the left communication port and then it will light up and then you press it once to turn the battery on. And we have 13.6 volts, so the battery is fully charged. And this battery has safety certification and UL listing, which is a very good sign. Well, that's super cool, but I wanna see what's inside. Is that it? Oh, there we go. So we want to do this carefully. And this is a very sophisticated BMS. There are little lights and communication cables everywhere. So which one should we disconnect first? Oh, check it out. There are two temperature sensors right here. I wonder if that's the only temperature sensors in this battery. And here's a communication port so we can take this out. And we're gonna pull the ground. So now the cover is removed and you can see that we have XT90 and we have two of them. So that can handle 180 amps. So on this side, we have the main positive and the main negative, and this goes down to the battery, the raw cells. And then we have XT90 connectors that connect to the BMS board that has a bank of MOSFETs. And this acts as a switch. And then we have the output that goes to the negative terminal. And just look at the logic control system down here. You have a very sophisticated system compared to most battery management systems on the market. And this balance lead has a lot of cables. There are five leads for going out to individual cell groups, but I don't know what these wires are for. So we need to dig deeper to figure this thing out. So first we're gonna disconnect this balance lead so it will shut down the BMS. Then we're gonna cut this zip tie right here. I wonder who designed this because this is really nice, you guys. So these are the MOSFETs, and look how well constructed this is, you guys. Every solder joint, everything on here looks really good. Pretty impressive, to be honest, jeez. And there's even a conformal coating over all of these components. That's perfect. And all of the screws have Loctite. What in the world? I was not expecting Renogy to make such a sophisticated battery. And they have good stuff, but geez, this is crazy. Whoops. No way, you guys, they're using pouch cells. No wonder we have such a strong metal box around it. I was not expecting pouch cells at all. Please do not try this at home because this is dangerous. There is a lot of stuff you could short circuit right here. Pouch cells need to be attached to this board. So do not try this at home, guys. Is that the first time I recommended people not do something at home? Jeez. Oh, look at that. And these pouch cells are connected and it shows positive, 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 negative, 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 negative. And it's the same on this side, but negative, 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 positive, positive, positive. And we have 16 pouch cells total for this pack. And because we have 16 pouches, I imagine that we have these in packs of four because you can see negative, 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 negative. And then we put those all in series. So these are in parallel, these are in parallel, these are in parallel, and these are in parallel. And then we put them in series for that 12 volt nominal. But yeah, this is a well-made battery and I do not want to ruin it because there's nothing more to see inside. So we're going to put this back together. So this is absolute Battleborn competition right here, but they are coming out with their own line of new batteries. So it will be interesting to see what they do in response. We have 13.6 volts. Wow, it's hard to be critical of something that's well made. It's like the only thing that I dislike is that you cannot series connect it, but everything else is really nice. And you guys might be wondering, why is there a communication port? That would be silly just to have it for parallel connection. 
but I think they're going to have like a central hub system that monitors your entire system. It tells you like how much power the inverter is using, how much power is coming from the sunshine, and the state of charge of your batteries. But they haven't told me much yet. They don't tell me really anything until the product's actually released. So I have no idea. I think the biggest difference of this battery versus other batteries in this price range is that it uses pouch cells. And I'm not that familiar with lithium iron phosphate pouch cells. So with cylindrical and prismatic, you have internal safety features such as an overpressure valve. And some of them have like a little burst cap on the top and some have like even an overcurrent. But what would actually happen if one of these pouch cells were to short circuit? And I don't trust anything bad would happen because this is a safety certified UL listed battery. But what would happen? Because there are practically no protection features versus like a cylindrical or a prismatic cell. So yeah, I'm gonna have to research that more and figure that out, but let's do a quick capacity test and see what numbers we get. And even the terminals are really nice. They made they did a good job here. So I just overcharged it and it disconnected like it should. For this capacity test, we're gonna use a 300 amp shunt and a battery capacity monitor, and we're gonna run a heat gun for about five hours to see what the true capacity of this battery is. And we're pulling 21.9 amps, that is close enough. So we'll come back in like four and a half to five hours. That is very impressive, 106 amp hours. It pulled off 1.37 kilowatt hours. That's really, really good. Actually, I wonder how heavy this thing is. Guys, this battery weighs only 25.3 pounds. That is insane compared to others with the same capacity. And that's because it has pouch cells. Pouch cells are very lightweight. So I'm actually very impressed with this battery and if I was only parallel connecting my system and I only had 12 volts to work with, I would totally get this. This is a great battery. This battery has every safety certification and feature that a battery should have minus the series connection. So if you're using only 12 volts for your solar power system and you do not plan to use 24 or 48 volts in the future, then I can actually recommend this battery to you. And I think our test results and the teardown speak for themselves. And the UL listing is absolutely incredible. I didn't even see that advertised anywhere. I had to find it in the manual online. So I'm pleasantly surprised and I'm gonna put this on my website because this is a good battery. Now I'm sure everybody's wondering, should they buy this or a Battleborn for a 12 volt only system? And that's a pretty tough question. This is $50 cheaper than a Battleborn and Renogy does have decent customer service. And the Battleborn does not have any form of communication but Battleborn's coming out with new batteries soon with internal heating elements, communication systems, and all sorts of other cool stuff. And typically I always vouch for Battleborn just for the terminals alone because they're super strong, but these are strong too. But if you guys buy this and you have any problems at all, or you disagree with any of my testing methods, please let me know in the comment section below. But we also have some exciting news that there's other batteries similar to this one in price and features that we're gonna be reviewing and testing very soon. So it will be very cool to do those teardowns. But yeah, good job, Renogy. This is really nice, actually. So thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon in the next battery teardown because we always learn something new when we do this, and that is always so much fun. All right, see you guys later. Bye.